Hey everybody, Home Slice Henry here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some very fun battles in the Ultra League featuring the Triple Alola theme team. These battles were submitted to the channel by a member of the community, so many thanks for the battle submission. The Triple Alola theme team consists of a Tapu Fini lead with XL Oranguru and Salazzle in the back. And despite the fact that this is a pretty spicy team, this trainer was actually able to hit Legend with it. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and check out the Triple Alola theme team in action in the Ultra League. Hopping into the first match, picking up a great lead Tapu Fini into Obstagoon. And the Obstagoon is staying in, which means that they're probably weak to Tapu Fini somewhere in the back as well. Maybe something like a Talonflame. Obstagoon farms up quite a bit of energy, goes for the Night Slash. Tapu Fini able to tank it and fire off the Moonblast. Moonblast able to connect and down goes Obstagoon. Opponent brings in a Lolan Muck, but unfortunately he can't really switch out here because he has to keep the Dark type away from Oranguru. So he's just gonna stay in, tank the Acid Spray. Tapu Fini on very low HP, able to reach the last second Moonblast. Moonblast, massive damage onto the Alolan Muck. And then he can bring in Salazzle to try and go for the farm down. Unfortunately, Muck is able to reach a move. Salazzle shields up the Dark Pulse. In the back, it is Talonflame. And now Salazzle can just start spamming out Poison Fang after Poison Fang after Poison Fang and just continue to lower Talonflame's defense. Salazzle firing off Poison Fang number two. Talonflame has to start shielding here. At this point, I think you can probably just let this go and rely on Oranguru, but actually deciding to shield up the Salazzle wants the Poison Fang, but it doesn't register for some reason. Salazzle's supposed to win CMP over Talonflame, but for whatever reason, the game says no. Salazzle, one final Poison Fang, gets the last shield, and now Oranguru is in a great spot to try and close out this match. Oranguru should be able to tank whatever they throw here. They go for the Brave Bird. Oranguru able to farm down, leaves with the foul play on one HP, and that will be game over. Oranguru closing strong, and that is a good game. Hopping into the next match, leading Tapu Fini into Swampert. This is a fairly neutral lead, but it's nice to catch the Swampert on the lead, because hopefully, once the Swampert's out of the way, that should free up Salazzle to close in the endgame. They go straight for the Earthquake, that does a lot of damage onto Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini farms up and is gonna fire off the Moonblast. Moonblast does get shielded by the Swampert, that is quite unfortunate. Swampert has a ton of energy. I like the no shield here, just call the fact that they go for the Hydro, which they do. Tapu Fini goes for the Surf, but loses CMP. That is quite unfortunate. Swampert, able to win switch. In comes Oranguru. I don't believe Oranguru is going to be able to farm down here, but Oranguru is going to be able to reach a foul play after the next Confusion, which will be more than enough to take down the Swampert. And then, with that Swampert gone, hopefully two shield Salazzle can close. In comes Walrein, aggressive switch into the Salazzle. Walrein farming up energy in the back is Giratina. And this is why you run Dragon Pulse on Salazzle. Salazzle is going to be able to do some big damage onto the Giratina. Giratina is going to start firing back with Dragon Claws. Dragon Claw is going to do a solid amount of damage. So Salazzle is going to commit the shield and then go for the Poison Fang. Trying to lower Giratina's defense. Able to get a shield from Giratina. That is very nice. Salazzle committing the final shield. Trying to get rid of the Giratina here. Salazzle goes for the Poison Fang with the lower defense. Is this going to be enough to take down the Giratina? It is not. And Giratina is able to reach a last second move. That is very unfortunate. Now it's all up to Oranguru but that wall rain is very healthy and I believe the wall rain has enough for the back-to-back -back icicle spear or the earthquake so this should be unfortunately game over Salazzle just not enough damage to take down the Giratina and that is a good game Hopping into the next match, leading Tapu Fini into Shadow Machamp, a fantastic lead. Opponent save switches into Berserker, but honestly, Tapu Fini can just stay in here because Tapu Fini resists everything in Berserker's standard moveset. So Tapu Fini does not have to shield a thing. They go for the foul play. Tapu Fini does not care, firing back with the Surf. This will do a lot of damage. Berserker forced to shield. Berserker going for another move, but again, this is not going to be enough to KO. 
Tapu Fini takes it no problem and is going to be firing off the surf. Does the opponent want to give up the second shield? They do not and they're gonna get water gun down. We know there's the Shadow Machamp. In the back is a Registeel and an immediate switch into Salazzle. Salazzle doing massive damage with the Incinerates and going to start ramping up that damage by firing off these Poison Fangs. Poison Fangs are just gonna keep lowering Registeel's defense more and more and more. Salazzle shields the Zap Cannon. Opponent brings in Shadow Machamp. But this is not much of a better matchup for the opponent. Salazzle is just going to go straight Poison Fang again. Just continuing to debuff and debuff and debuff. This opponent in absolute pain right now. They're going to be firing off a move. At this point, they can probably just go straight Cross Chop, which they are going to do. Tried to switch, but unfortunately not able to do so. And things suddenly looking a little scary as Salazzle gets taken out. Brings in the Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini able to water gun down. Back in comes Registeel. Tapu Fini is going to go for the Surf. And then it's all up to XL Oranguru. XL Oranguru is extremely tanky. Not going to be able to reach the foul play before Registeel is able to debuff them. Zap Cannon comes through. Oranguru shrugs off that damage like it's nothing. And is going to fire off the foul play. Foul play. Gets the Registeel low. Oranguru not going to be able to farm down. The question is, does Oranguru tank the Focus Blast here? It's going to be close. Yes, it does. And that is a good game. Hopping into the next match, leading Tapu Fini into Venusaur, a Nightmare lead. Has two better responses in the back, so save switches into Salazzle, and the opponent responds with Obstagoon. At this point, I think you kind of just have to two-shield Salazzle to try and win switch advantage, because Tapu Fini can do absolutely nothing against Venusaur, and it looks like that's exactly what he's going to do. He is going to be shielding up the Night Slash, farming up to the Dragon Pulse, but baiting with the Poison Fang, trying to get the shield from the Obstagoon, and Obstagoon gives the shield. That is fantastic. Obstagoon farming up, allowing Salazzle to reach another Poison Fang. Salazzle just continuing to debuff and debuff and debuff this Obstagoon. I think you can pretty safely shield, fire off the Poison Fang, and then take Switch, but he decides to go for the farm down, and he's going to get hit with the Night Slash. Is this enough to KO? It is not. That is knowing your IVs right there. Able to tank a Night Slash and win Switch advantage. In comes Tapu Fini. They bring back in the Venusaur, but now Venusaur is in a much different matchup. They're going up against XL Oranguru. XL Oranguru able to tank a Frenzy Plant, but they reach Frenzy Plant number two. Is Oranguru going to be able to hang on here? Yes, it can! The bulk of XL Oranguru, oh my goodness, tanking double Frenzy Plant goes for the Psychic. Back in comes Walrein, and now it's Walrein versus Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini does tank one Earthquake, but if Walrein is able to reach a second, things could get tough here. Walrein fires off the Earthquake. Tapu Fini farming up and going for the Moon Blast. This is going to hit for some heavy neutral damage onto the Walrein. Gets the Walrein low and gets the attack drop. Oh my goodness, that may be enough to flip this. Earthquake, Tapu Fini hangs on, able to farm down, and that is a good game. Hopping into the next match, we need Tapu Fini into Walrein. This is a slightly negative lead, but at the very least, Tapu Fini can get the Walrein quite low if both parties decide to play out the Zero Shield. Walrein is going to be able to outpace and fire off the Earthquake. As we've seen, Tapu Fini does tank the Earthquake fairly nicely, but Walrein is going to be able to tank the Moon Blast as well. Tapu Fini charging up the Moon Blast. Walrein doesn't have to shield this, and they don't. They're going to let it go and then just choose to play out the Zero Shield. And this way, hopefully, he can get some nice farm with Salazzle. In comes Salazzle. Salazzle looking for the Incinerate down. Walrein fires off a move, but this is only an Icicle Spear. So Salazzle is going to be able to tank that, no problem. Salazzle going for the farm down. Walrein reaches the last second Icicle Spear. And unfortunately, Salazzle has to take more damage. Salazzle is extremely frail. In the back, the opponent has Nidoqueen. Going to be firing off the Dragon Pulse to get some chip damage. And then it is Oranguru time. In comes Oranguru. These confusions chunking on the Nidoqueen. Nidoqueen throws on alignment and gives Oranguru an extra confusion. Even better. Nidoqueen fires off the Poison Fang. In the back is a Trevenant. And the opponent is absolutely core broken in the back by Oranguru. Oranguru in a very good position to close out the match. The one downside is that, of course, Oranguru's defense 
resistance has been lowered by the Poison Fang. So going to be shielding up the Seed Bomb. May as well shield while your defense has been lowered. Opponent throws on alignment again. Orangaroo getting free confusions left and right. Orangaroo banks two and switches into Salazzle, forcing the Trevenant to throw a move. Fantastic play. Opponent undercharges the Seed Bomb and that lets Salazzle reach a Poison Fang. That's gonna get the shield. Back in comes Nidoqueen, but this Orangaroo just has too much energy. Foul play number one takes down the Nidoqueen. Foul play number two is going to take down the Trevenant. Orangaroo closing strong, and that is a good game. Hopping into the next match, leading Tapu Fini into another Swampert. Like last time, Tapu Fini is going to be staying in here and trying to play it out, because hopefully once the Swampert is out of the way, then Salazzle will be free of counters and able to close in the endgame. Tapu Fini is going to let the first move through. Earthquake does a lot of damage. Tapu Fini able to hang on. Opponent went for the catch onto Wall Rain, able to hold onto the energy and bring in Salazzle. Salazzle is just going to go straight Poison Fang in this matchup, ramping up the Incinerate damage more and more and more. This is enough for the Earthquake. Salazzle respects it and it's the earthquake that is an absolutely massive shield salazzle over farming a ton of energy and gonna fire off the poison fang does wall rain want to shield it they do but salazzle has the back-to-back -back. does wall rain want to give up that second shield they do they are really trying for switch here they switch back into swampert to catch the poison fang able to save some energy on the wall rain but now tapu fini can combo play go for the moon blast and that will be good by swampert as they have no more shields remaining Back in comes the Wall Rain. Wall Rain's gonna be firing off energy here. Earthquake takes down the Tapu Fini. In comes Salazzle. This is an Icicle Spear, but Icicle Spear would still do a lot here. Tough call to make. They shield. Salazzle not going to be able to farm down, so fires off the Poison Fang. This will be taking out the Wall Rain. It all depends what's in back. It's a Talon Flame. Things potentially looking good here. Going for the Dragon Pulse, but the scary thing is that this Talon Flame is going to leave with a lot of energy. Brings in the Orangaroo, and I'm not sure if Orangaroo is going to be able to tank a Brave Bird plus a Flame Charge. This is going to be close here. They reach it. Moment of Truth. Is Orangaroo able to tank? They cannot, and they lose a very close game. Hopping into the final match, leading Tapu Fini into yet another Swampert. At this point, we've seen how this plays out. Tapu Fini is going to stay in here, tank the Earthquake, and just try and do as much damage as possible to the Swampert. Swampert actually decides to bait, expecting a shield, but Tapu Fini does not have to shield the first, and confidently able to tank it. Tapu Fini able to land the Moon Blast. That's huge. Swampert is going to be firing off the last second Earthquake, but Tapu Fini can very safely shield this. They'll be down a shield, but they leave with a ton of health remaining. Opponent waiting the timer, unsure of what to bring in, and they bring in Obstagoon, so they are incredibly weak to Tapu Fini. Oh my goodness. They go for the Night Slash, and now going to save switch into Salazzle. Salazzle going for the Poison Fang. Opponent able to make a catch of the Poison Fang, catching it onto a Charizard. But honestly, that is not a much better situation for them to be in, because Salazzle's just going to keep firing off Poison Fang after Poison Fang after Poison Fang. Salazzle can be incredibly deadly once it gets the Poison Fangs ramped up. Charizard goes for the Dragon Claw. That is not enough damage. Salazzle able to reach another Poison Fang. Charizard just lets itself get taken out. Obstagoon not going to be able to farm down either. Salazzle on an absolute rampage. Debuff. In comes the Tapu Fini. And everything going right in this match. Surf is going to get the shield from the Obstagoon. Obstagoon is going to be firing off a Night Slash. But Night Slash is just not enough damage here. Obstagoon needs the boost, but it's not going to happen. They fire off another Night Slash. Tapu Fini shields, reaches the Surf, and that is game over. As Surf will be taking down the Obstagoon, and that is a good game. All in all, some incredibly fun battles featuring a triple Alola theme team. This trainer actually ran the team for fun a few weeks back, but ended up climbing to legend rank with it. And it, to be honest, it's probably the coolest team I've seen hit legend so far this season. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support you guys provide is absolutely incredible. So thank you guys oh so very much. 
And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry. <laughs>